the energy required to form an NaCl ion is actually positive. Still, NaCl is one of our best examples for ionic solids. How does it come into being? Why? Because all the compounds, whenever they form, what happens? They are forming just because their energy is getting lowered. Otherwise, they will not be favored. Okay? But then why does NaCl solid is formed? Any idea? I think you must have studied this in class 11. No? No? No. Have you studied or not? Hmm? See, there is also a thing called lattice enthalpy. What happens? Fine, they form NaCl. Then what happens? It is not only one molecule that you are eating when you are using the salt, table salt. When they start coming together, the lattice enthalpy, okay, the enthalpy of formation when they come into a crystal, that is very, very negative. That means it releases a huge amount of energy. So much so that a net of, here a net of about uh, plus 140 kilojoule per mole gets spent. Okay. But what happens? When they come together, when they come together, the, 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 about the, the net becomes actually minus 800 or something. Uh, minus 800 kilojoules per mole. So, it is not only the formation of the ions, but when they start coming into a crystal, they shed a huge amount of energy and that is what favors the formation of NaCl. You should keep that in mind. So, NaCl, anything else? You set up a metal with one of the halogens or, or the right ones, right? So, you set up the alkali or the alkaline earth metals with either the halogens or or one group prior uh, before that so so nacl hmm? mgo zns they are all they are all ionic how about metallic there is no dearth of that so silver gold platinum iron copper aluminum no so many sodium hmm? How about covalently bonded? As I said, covalently bond bonded have queer, strange kind of characteristics. Okay? So, you may find something as hard as diamond. Okay? Diamond or, or, or as soft as graphite. Graphite. Is it not? Also, you have some more covalently bonded quartz quartz is a very very hard crystal okay quartz sio2 and silicon carbide sio2 that is quartz quartz has got a peculiar property you know that why do we use quartz watch watches hmm? We are using quartz watches. Quartz is a piezoelectric crystal. What do we mean by that? You know that? What, what piezoelectricity is? No? Piezoelectricity is, if you press the quartz crystals like this across one of the surfaces, suppose there is a cube and you apply a, a, a mechanical force, then across the other end, it will give you a voltage. Okay, it generates electricity and vice versa. If you give electricity across one of the ends, then it will change the, it will change the dimensions across the other. Okay, so it is a very, very smart crystal and that is what is being used. What happens? We give a, we give an electric impulse to it, tick and it 
changes its dimensions that is translated into moving your your second the second needle right this is being thrown due to the quads movement huh? and it's a jumpy kind of movement you see correct so it gives an impulse impulse and jumps if you see the analog watches what happens they move in a very regular fashion like that they, they do not have jumps fine but a quads wall watch will jump see this this it jumps fine so it's due to that now how about the physical nature physical nature is easy to guess what will be the physical nature they they talk about whether they are soft or hard so so physical nature since the forces are small the nature has to be softer they will not be able to resist it so this is soft this is soft this is soft water is soft but ice is hard okay ice is hard because they come closer together due to the drop in temperature the thermal vibrations are less so so they get firmly bonded so so it depends in what state they are okay it's wrong to write that how about ionic solids they are hard yeah they are hard they are hard because because they have come as close as it was possible for them to come so that when you apply any force they resist you okay they resist you they could not go any 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 closer why because the coulombic force is a very very huge strong force okay i have told you and and we have also done in the first chapter that if if you put a proton here and an electron here separated by 1 meter what happens the coulombic force is 10 of the order of about 10 to the power 37 times greater than the gravitational force huge amount of force huge force hmm? you put one coulomb away by one meter one coulomb by one meter you, you can you can apply the hmm? you can apply the coulomb's law and you'll find what is the what is the force between these two any idea k into q1 q2 r square f that is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 1 1 1 square so it gives you 9 into 10 to the power 9 newtons of force huge amount of force 9 billion newtons hmm? that is a force that is a force that is a force that is equivalent of 9 that is the weight of 9 into 10 to the power 8 kg mass you understand 900 million kg of mass what is that hmm? or 9 lakh tons 900,000 tons that is the amount of force that is there and for us one coulomb is kind of kind of what hmm? you switch on this you switch on this fan 60 watt in three seconds flat it will cross it will pass it will pass about a coulomb of charge through its wire okay that is the that is the kind of forces we are talking about when you gulp down one 200 ml of water you are gulping down some some I think 3 into 10 to the power 7 coulomb of charge positive as well as negative hmm? you understand so if a fraction for a fraction of second for a fraction of second they get separated there will be such a huge explosion huge explosion inside your stomach that maybe maybe a city will vanish around you ok so these are wonders of nature you should understand more so because we are studying physics and chemistry ok fine so these are hard but they are brittle they are brittle they are brittle 
द मेटालिक सॉलिड दे आर हार्ड बर्ड बर्ड डाइल एंड मैलियबल एज वेल दैट दैट यू नो शेयर सम ऑफ देम आर वेरी हार्ड क्वाड इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी वेरी हार्ड क्रिस्टल वील सी वेन वी आर डूइंग द डूबल नेचर ऑफ रेडिएशन वी हैव क्वाड्स विंडोज वाई सो दैट दे आर एब्सल्यूटली शार्ट अप्रूव डायमंड दैट इज वेरी हार्ड क्वाड इज वेरी हार्ड एंड दिस इज सो सॉफ्ट दैट यू यूज इट एज अ लिब्रिकेंट यू यूज इट एज कार्बन ब्रशेज एवरी हियर एंड देर वेन वी स्टडी मोर ऑफ द जनरेटर्स देन वील बी डूइंग दैट सो लेट मी रेज दिस ओके हाउ अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी How about the electrical conductivity? Hmm. These are. Do they have some spare electrons to move around? No. So they have to be insulators. Insulators. How about these? No. No. They are ionic. That's a different thing. they have been attracted but they do not have a spareable electron that's the trouble they cannot spare an electron so an insulator water hydrogen bonded what do you think is water a conductor or a non conductor or an insulator hmm? is it is it a conductor is water a conductor yes the first thing that comes to your mind is yes why because we have al already been told do not touch an electric switch with wet hands and have you, have you got a shock touching it with wet hands you have then obviously the people who have got shock they'll never agree that it is an insulator but it is an insulator then why did you get the shock i have also got a shock that's why then why did you get a shock you got a shock because it was not pure distilled water it had some ions floating into that and it were those ions that were conducting okay so a tap water you you must have got got the shock due to a tap water right fine and every tap water however pure it is even the even the filtered water after passing through your ultra violet nano reverse osmosis and what not still it is it you you cannot get rid of the you cannot get rid of the the ions okay if you get rid of the ions the taste of the water changes you know it starts tasting better hmm so the so the taste of the water will go if you actually absolutely rid it of of all the ions and 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 all of us understand that we, uh, there is a particular taste in water do, do do you understand that hmm you can also 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 understand that there has been a change in taste when you when you change some region and you have some salty water you'll understand that so so that is also an insulator but not the tap water the distilled we are talking about the distilled water the ionic solids also whatever give and take they had to do they have done between the two of them or three of them and they have already formed ions and and once say cl cl is gripping those electrons it is not ready to let go of it okay and once na has given an electron it is simply not in its control fine so so that is also an insulator it has to be an insulator but oh, but in in solid form not in in solid form it is a conductor in solution or molten form sir this is what what is distilled water distilled water is a water which has no salt it is pure it's pure how do you make distilled water out of normal water distillation, distillation. so you boil it boil it pass it through a distillation tube what is that what is that you just just cool it 
then the vapors condense and whatever water you will get will be distilled water. That is how distilled water is made also you know. Even, even on large scales that is one of the best ways of making distilled water but it is costly. It is costly. It, it, it costs you money. So, there are other, other ways of making distilled water which, which have come up but that is one of the cheapest. How about metallic solids? Are they insulators? No. No, not even they, in their dreams. So, so they are very good conductors, very good conductors, very, very good conductors. And here again, there is a distinction. So this is an insulator, while this is a conductor due to the, due to the loosely held electrons, this is, this becomes a conductor. And whatever was deciding, whatever these forces are, they are deciding this, they have decided this, they will also decide this. So, how about the melting point of, melting or boiling point of these? Very low, right? This will be very low, this will be very low obviously. Why? No force at all, very, very insignificant, small, transient forces keep on occurring, right? right? Here also they are low but not as low as this, you again understand because at least there is some amount of interaction here, here. there is some amount of coming together here. Okay? So as I told you, as I, so, so they have designated it as low, as I have told you water, uh, ethanol, ethanol is, uh, is what? C2, H5, OH. What is the, what is the, what is the mass of this? Molecular weight is what? 12, oh, sorry 16 and 22 and and 46, is it? Forty-six. Hmm? Water, 18, fine, methanol, CH3OH, methanol is that. So this is 16 and 12, 28, 22, water boils at 100, boils at somewhere around 60. Why? Less of hydrogen bonding. It has got only one leg that is that has oxygen with it. That that is positively and negatively charged. Here I had two legs. Okay. Fortunately so. Otherwise maybe we would not have been there had 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 it been something like this. Methanol is lower still. Okay. So How about ionic solids, melting point, very high, Coulombic, you have to overcome the, you have to overcome the Coulombic attraction, very high, this is also very very high, this is very high, no, but, but this is not as high as this, this is very high, okay, but, but this is higher, so they have gone by high. Because in metals what happens, there are so many bondings together, so you have to break all of them. Okay. In ionics, they are not bonded multiple to, to multiple places, right? that is one of the reasons why this is high and this is low. How about this? This is very, very high, very, very high, they designate as very high only. This, this will not be that high obviously, this is an anomaly, so still, still graphite, graphite I will have to check, I think it should be melting somewhere above 400 degrees centigrade or something, even though it is that soft and the things are sliding, because why? Because, because to remove the sheets you have to break the covalent bonds, they are fairly strong fairly strong. Okay? So that is the summary of what we have done till now. We move next to the crystal lattice.